and welcome back to MLB The Show 19 and the Salamon Barrios Road to the Show. I'm Tyrant Saber. Last time out, we are holding on to the division by the, or rather to the wild card uh, by the skin of our teeth right now. We are tied with the Seattle Mariners and half a game ahead of the Oakland Athletics in the AL West. And we are the closest guys there are to the wild card here. Um, taking a look at the actual division ratings. Uh, yeah, we are three games behind the Astros and we are tied with the Mariners. Red Sox at 83 wins. Um, yeah, the Yankees are kind of going ham out here. 97 wins. They're going to be a 100 win team this season, guaranteed. Uh, Red Sox are 13 and a half games back behind the division, but even at that, they are still uh, like six games ahead of us in the uh, wild card. So, yeah. That's uh, that's looking like a pretty well settled uh, wild card spot. So we are going to have to fight with our division mates to try to cement our place in that spot. Maybe even have to play a game 163, depending on how things turn out. Let's keep going. But that will bring us up onto another training day. We can work on um, stuff. We can work on our contact caps. We can work on plate discipline which honestly we're kind of coming up against it so why don't we go ahead and do that Justin Bohr teaching us how to take more balls and that is a big plate discipline boost cap there strike out less than three times over the next three games <sighs> Ooh, I'll give it a try but I can't say I'm too confident in it either way we're going to be facing off against the Cleveland Indians in Anaheim so we got to get out here and get it. Getting set for evening baseball from the Big A, Angel Stadium of Anaheim. Tonight, a compelling matchup of division contenders between the Cleveland Indians and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. Jaime Berea, the Panamanian right-hander, will get the nod here. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, he wasn't all that bad in his last one, pitching into the sixth inning to pick up the win. We'll see if he can go a little bit deeper in this one. Yeah, Jaime Berea here, putting on a pretty good, uh, putting on a pretty good s season so far for the Angels here. I just kind of wish we could be given some better batting support. But uh, it is what it is. We are the team we are, and Salomon is only one guy who is, uh, I, know, I don't know. He's hit a couple homers recently, but not as many as he had been in the minors. So, you know. First pitch base hit, though. That's not nothing. And that'll bring up JT Realmuto. Salomon got brought up to the number four spot in the lineup. So we've actually got some good hitters around us. And one two count to Real Muto. Line straight up the middle. They're going to send the runner home, so Salomon's going to make it up to third on that nice little single up the middle. Let's go with an early lead for the Angels. Venga! Pitcher have the advantage with two outs, two strikes. You're one pitch away, and boy, what a terrific piece of hitting right there. Yeah, that's a great job right there. Some guys are not afraid to hit with two strikes. They'll taste that pitcher deep in the count, feeling comfortable about it. That's, that's the type of hitter this guy that's is, and he was hitter. able to come through. Justin. And now the designated hitter for the Angels, Justin so Upton. So Justin, Justin Upton fouls that here. one He's off. Better against right Stays alive at two and season. two here. 18 pitches in the first inning, not ideal. The two -two. And that's just a pop-up to short, and that will end the inning. Unless he drops it, he doesn't drop it. Oh, well. So we still get a run in, and that's really all we need out of the day. Well, that and a win, because maybe another couple runs. Cleveland goes up 2-1 to one here, top of the... Swing and a Second and another big drive to center field and gone. And it's gone as they so add they add another, another one here in the second. Martin Diaz, I think was his name. 376 feet to right center field right and field. gone. Fourth home run for him on the season. And it gives the Indians a 3-1 lead. 
Well, he won his last start, but he didn't give up any long balls. I'll bring up Bradley Zimmer here. It's still in the top of the second. Cut out for him if he's going to get the W on this one. He's going to have to start keeping the ball in the yard for starters. That'll be an easy fly out into Solomon's territory. Has a play, two gone. Oh, but the Angels bounce back decisively in the set in the bottom of the second, going up four to three here. It's going to be a game of offense, it seems. Low fastball from Anderson here. Cody Anderson. As they begin here tonight, four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Yeah, Maddie, we had liner. No, not a liner. Just a fly ball to left field. Okay, well. So We're back on top after two. So the batting order turns oh, man. Over back and forth to game today. One. So much for that Jaime Berea uh, ERA, for man. Two. He yeah. had been yeah. under two. I'm guessing It'll that's not going to hold up for long. Solomon gets an easy fly ball to right. Forces the runner back to first, and that'll be the first out of the fourth. And bring Solomon back up in the fourth inning, bottom of the fourth. New pitcher out here. And probably well deserved, too. This is a tough guy right here to hit into a double play. He's fast and he swings from the left side, so out of the box he's going to get a good Ooh, nice change up on the inside. Couldn't hold up long enough and it was spotted very well, so. Good, good swing and miss on that one. And he fouls this one Four off. seamer there. And strike two. And now he's going to get me fishing with one low. No. High fastball. Tried to pump it past me. Did manage to make contact. Curveball on the inside. This kind of hitter right here, we call this guy a grinder. What are grinders? They just kind of foul off some good pitches. They they lay off the pitches just off the plate. This is every pitcher's night. And that'll be a 3-2 count here. So Solomon can work a walk. That'd be pretty good. I'm sure he'd love to drive in a run instead, but you got to take what the pitcher gives you. Fouls that one off. At second, at first, Doesn't have to be gone. pretty. It just needs to, just needs to work. Oh, so I thought that was going to drop a lot more than it did. Caught looking. Oh well, that's one out of three. Into the windup, here comes the old one. The door. Francisco Lindor flying out to right field. Not exactly the most efficient route to that one, but we still make the out. Jordan Luplo now, top of the sixth. He's two for two on the day. And Angels got their own relief pitcher out there. They very well may have swapped in last inning. I didn't have time to check. But another fly ball to Salamone. And we're up again. We got runners first and second. I'm going to go ahead and break out the showtime on this one. Ooh, tasty. Down. He gets the two strikes and yet, all I can do is swing. Still pretty early on that one and foul tip it. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I keep, you know, for all that people like to say they're good, and good or bad at this game, there is way more than people like to give credit to that goes into the math behind these things. So, or the... Formulas, I guess we should say, the calculations in the game engine that decide whether or not a, a connected a swing or a nice, but in fact just lines out to right field. Still drives the runner up, which is not, you know, nothing, but not exactly what I was hoping to get out of that appearance. Tyler Naquin up, L.A. up 10 to 4 here. Top of the seventh, nobody out. So we're going to be trying to throw home here. 
fly ball out to straightaway right. Moving under it, Barrio makes the catch, but the run. And up that arm is not going to be anywhere near strong enough to make it to the home plate. Like I said, Barrios. Solomon has an okay arm for a shortstop, but he's not a right fielder. Here's the first pitch to him. Ooh. I don't know why I pressed the button on that one. 34,214 people here at the Big A tonight. Angels, thank you for your support. Ooh, foul tipped that one on the inside. Adam Pluko pitching up here. 1-1 one, one count. Oh, wow. What was that? Had good timing on it. I just flat out missed. Tap the curveball down. And the old and beach ball animation. California without the obligatory beach ball sighting as this one makes its way onto the field. Faces are empty, one man out. I can't remember if that's ever happened on screen on this series. Or, you know, Solomon or Jason. I can't remember if we've ever had the beach ball animation. Ah, oh, but Solomon gets his second two. allotted strikeout, and it's only the first game, so guessing we're not going to get that cap up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first base. I don't think he even concerns himself. Fly out to right field, two outs to go. And we've got a five-run lead, so I'm thinking this one's pretty well sealed up. And light that baby up. Angels take it here. Jaime Berea, despite giving up quite a few runs in his short appearance today, still gets the win, and we get out of here with another win in the year. Wednesday night baseball on the show from Angel Stadium of Anaheim. Tonight, a compelling matchup of division contenders between the Cleveland Indians Tyler Skaggs gets the starting nod for the Halo. Hey, no Dan Zach, what's the word on him? You know, every hey, pitcher hey, hey, comes out of spring training hey, hey, hoping they can make Follow somewhere that. between 30 to 35 starts. This guy well, will be LA's up three to nothing on Trevor Bauer early in this one, so and he's, been pretty he's good having himself a bad day. 30 starts, not an easy yep, thing to do. Absolutely. See if Solomon can it maybe add to his woes. Oh, one and two. get my eyes checked. Broke into the big leagues. A lot of the pitchers want to work east. To Matter of fact, it's, it's just because it's daytime. I can't see velocity. that freaking ball. These guys are working Two north balls. south. Hey, That's just a great time. elevated fast. And that ball goes up above the strike zone, up above uh, the batter's eye. I can't see anything. That pitch was way down on two and two, but you could be throwing an ant special, and I have no idea. Expand the strike zone, but he didn't and held off on that one. That Early on the fastball, the okay. The three, two, one more time. And he takes but four, three, two so count, and he works a walk, so Solomon gets on base here. here. Bottom of the second Bauer add to Trevor Bauer's bad day so far. Exactly Bring up right David there. Fletcher here. I think I figured out why Solomon was batting cleanup that one time, and I think it's because when Solomon is batting cleanup, it's because somebody else is getting the day off and they need somebody in the power spot. So, probably it's just because. Wow. Sack bunt from Jonathan VR, I think that was, and that moved everybody over one base with only one out. So Tommy Lestella now got a good chance to drive in a couple runs if he can make a base hit. 2-1 count now. I think it might be nap time after this series. 3-1 count. I don't think Trevor Bauer's got the zone very well today. 
And in fact, he just walks him again. So he loads the bases on that walk. And that'll bring up Mr. Mike Trout, number 27. Arguably, maybe not so arguably, the best player in baseball these days. Not looking so good on that one, so Trevor Bauer saving up a good one for Mikey Trout up there at the plate. I had no coach tell Fouls me one went off when the bases are loaded, back over the screen so you stay alive the next one two pitch and oh that's going to the backstop Solomon's gonna backstop. run in and he's gonna score Venga let's go got that La Pelota Caribe going People, you know, Solomon's got gotten his chops busted about his base running, but he's still got the wheels to make it happen when he needs to. It's just his decision making that really needs uh, work. It'll be interesting to see if he can settle in at all and make some adjustments, or if this start will continue to run downhill. Ooh. And that one misses badly. It's ball Coming two. up and in at 95, a real it's close to Solomon. Dot tried to dot the corner, but it's 3-1 now. So he's either going to have to come in or walk Solomon again. But he's going to come in, and all Solomon can do is ground out to second. And that's not great, but it is what it is. I'll bring up Jordan Luplo. They've tied it up here by the sixth. Nobody out with a runner on first and a new pitcher on the mound. That's a line drive, and Solomon's not going to get. I could have tried to throw to second directly, and I didn't get that. Uh, didn't get that in my brain in time. They stopped to try to make sure that it was going to get down. And if I'd thrown directly to second, I might have had a chance to get him. But instead, I threw to the cutoff man. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Through the cutoff man, and we wound up getting no outs there. They didn't score off of it, which is good, but. The old Greg Maddox equalizer started at the front hip and bring it back. That still leaves us tied here in the bottom of the sixth. Solomon at the plate, 1 1 count. Trying to do something here. Fastball called strike, 1 and 2. That one looked, it looked like it was going to hit the zone, but you know, I've been fooled by enough of these low. Look out. That I've been fooled by enough of these low change-up splitter, you know, low pitches that I always feel kind of, mm, that was, that one was a gift from God right there. But he wasn't rewarded for it this time. Let it fly, let it fly right here. And they're going to walk Solomon once again. So runners first and second with nobody out here in the bottom of the sixth. So Jake Bowers standing over here at first next to me. Just to show off that I do know some names of people in the AL. He's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. 3-1 count. Better be careful, dog. You're going to walk another guy right here. Walking the number nine hitter of all people. Well, that's going to fill the count for David Fletcher. Ah, uh, blooped into... Left center field, and it's actually going to get down. Runners are all in on bases, and everybody's safe. How about that? I figured that one was going to... Yeah, no urgency from the center fielder, and he could not make the play. I know they said that they tried to improve the AI and the animations for defense this year. 
San Diego Studios, that is. Um, certainly didn't necessarily look like that there. But 3-1 count to Jonathan Villar, who's already 2-3 for three on the day. Is it possible that they're going to walk in a run to lose the lead here? No. They're just going to... He's just going to bloop one into short left. And that's going to hold everybody right where they're at. So that'll bring up Tommy LaStella, who's one for one with a home run today. And obviously at least one walk, maybe two. Swing and a miss on that fastball. Looked like he was kind of late on it. Uh... Yeah, I got the brain of a fish. I can't remember if Tommy LaStella actually. So Solomon's tagging up on that one, and that is going to drive in a run. So sack fly from Tommy LaStella. Runners on the corners. Angels on top, 5-4 to four with two away in the six. Venga, let's go. I'll bring up Mike Trout, see what he can do. Big man at the plate. And he misses with it for And they're gonna walk him. I'll bring up Justin Bohr. Base is loaded, two outs. 1-1 one, one count to Justin Bohr. Swing and a miss. Incidentally, I think I've been playing this series for something like 30 episodes and I've never talked about it. One of the things that I've done in this series is I've set the base running appearances to half. It's not the action pitches as it is set to default, because this way it allows me more opportunities to gauge. Oh, that one's gone. It offers me more opportunities to gauge the... Uh, the speed of a pitcher's motion and see whether or not I might be able to steal off of him rather than just kind of getting a random, you know, manager says steal chance and then being forced to do something with it. That's why some of these plate appearances sometimes, or some of these uh, base running appearances, take a bit longer than they would for, say, other streamers or players. Ooh, a little early on that one. Like a lot early on that one, actually. Uh, yeah, it's just because having more... Having more of those uh, base running chances means that I have more chances on, in which to steal. So that's why I've got that set the way it is. 3-1 count. You better be careful, dog. This game is way too Solomon's to got that walking, guys, so pop we'll in his bat. Swing the bat on this next and he's going to line one into the gap, and that's going to go to the wall. Solomon's going to race around second, or race around first, and he's going to make it into second with a double. Let's go, Venga! They might have had a chance if the throw had been online, but in fact, it wasn't. I'll bring up David Fletcher here, who's one for two on the day. Solomon taking no chances on the base paths. He is pulling back whenever possible. Being a good boy, making sure not to waste any base running appearances. Maybe once he's as fast and as good as stealing bases as Billy Hamilton, they'll give him the green light. But in the meantime, uh, he's just going to do what the manager tells him to do, I guess. That's just grounded over to third, though, and that's a wasted appearance. But that will bring up Jonathan VR, who's two for four with two doubles tonight. So he can pop one into the outfield. That would drive Jay, uh, Solomon home. Once again, can't seem to get the names of my players straight. Say Solomon while I'm playing Jason, and Jason while I'm saying, playing Solomon. Uh, 
Oh, that was in on your hands, dude. What are you doing? Okay, 3-2 count. We've only got the one out and there's nobody behind us, so we got nothing doing trying to steal on first motion. But he's just going to swing and miss and strike out. So that'll bring up Tommy LaStella here, who still only has the home run to his name tonight. He's had a couple walks. 3-2 count. Taps it at the plate. Come on, Tommy. Drive me in. Get some bases. Get some runs. Win this game. Nope, he's just going to strike out, swinging on one low out of the zone, and that's going to end the inning. So no runs on a hit here, no errors. One man left on. Ninth inning coming up. So Solomon leads off with a great double, and they can't do anything with it. Well, as it turns out, light that baby up, and Solomon actually does get the uh, he does actually get the plate discipline increase. How about that? Tommy Lastella wins this one, or he gets player of the game for the Angels, and that's going to do it for me, I think. I assume we're done with this series. Or maybe I'm wrong. Let's find out. Well, we went two for three against the Indians, which is always nice to see. We are, you know, half a game back of the athletics here, so we're still struggling to keep up in this division. So I guess we'll find out what happens going on. We've only got, you know, less than three weeks left in the season. Couple series, Tampa, New York Yankees, Houston Astros twice, and a short series against the, a the A's. So that's going to do it for me. Until next time, I'm Tyron Saber, and I will see you at the ballpark.